What's up, y'all? Everyone who's watched the Blue Jays' two wins out of the three games versus the Yankees has been blown away by the trio of Julian Merriweather, Jordan Romano, and Rafael Dolis. Now, Rafael Dolis didn't have a great uh, game, but we know he's a good pitcher. Now, these guys are guys that kind of came out of nowhere. Merriweather, especially, all of a sudden, Merriweather was closing out that opening day, throwing 100 with an 80 mile per hour changeup. He closed out today doing that same thing. In the first game, he got uh, the entire side retired in 12 pitches. Today it was something like that. I'm pretty sure he struck out the side. Uh, Romano had an amazing eighth inning today. Uh, three up, three down. This one, two, three, like these seven, eight, nine guys are going to be massive for this Blue Jays team that obviously has weak starting pitching. Zoic had a great start, but he only went four innings. We had to go to Thornton and Barucki. Um, not a fan of Thornton. Barucki is solid. Now, another guy I was thinking about is AJ Cole. Uh, he had a really good 2020. And I'm pretty sure he's on the taxi squad right now. So obviously, Blue Jays don't see anything good in him. If this team had Kirby Yates and Romano, Dolis, Merriweather uh, live up to their potential as these like lockdown closers, we would have a top bullpen in the league. Even with these three guys, I really like our bullpen right now. I think we need to dive into Romano, Merriweather, and Dolis real quick. Dolis is an interesting story. Three years with the Cubs. Then he spent seven years in Japan. Came back last year. Five saves, 150 ERA. Um, he's got he's a kind of a sinker splitter pitcher. Um, he's solid. I think Romano is the clear closer over him, but he's solid. I like him as the setup man. He might actually be pushed down to the seventh if Julian Mayweather is just like that. Uh, and then Romano is another story. He was a rookie in 2019. Uh, how many innings did he pitch? 15 in 2019 with a 7.63 ERA. Not great. But then last year, 1.23 ERA, two saves only. Um, and then he got hurt and we couldn't use him in the playoffs. He was a big piece for us this year. And then this year, two innings. I don't think anyone's got a hit off of him. Uh, he's looking amazing. He has all the mannerisms of a reliever, the big beard. He's got some weird um, wind up where he does like a squat mid pitch. I don't know. And then there's Julian Merriweather, who we traded Donaldson for a couple years ago. Uh, his career ERA is 386, and that's just with last year and this year. Last year, I thought he was really good. I didn't know he was like that. He obviously has taken a step forward in the two games. Um, so what was this? What was he looking like last year? 415 ERA and 13 innings pitch. All right. I mean, obviously, I said I like AJ Cole. We left. We let Anthony Bass go. Uh, he was also solid. So if we had, if we have those guys. Um, we kind, of, we, try, we kind of replaced Bass with Kirby Yates. Kirby Yates is upgrade. We lost him for the year. But if Cole can get back to 2020, I think we have a really solid uh, four-man bullpen there that I'm confident closing games. Uh, Barucki and Meza have shown some strides in spring training, and this bullpen is looking really solid. We need it for the pitching. Uh, Robbie Ray is coming back soon. Nate Pearson's coming back soon as well. Um, excited for this Blue Jays team. Win two out of three against the Yankees in Yankee Stadium. It was a great opening uh, weekend series. I'm out. Peace.